all of your friends i greet you this moment and i welcome you to my channel i'm using this opportunity to update you of what is going on in biafra land between nigeria security forces and uh, biafra liberation armies as you can see this is illegal checkpoint mounted by nigeria police terrorists but today they met with their water loom it was not easy for them and i believe that their mouths cannot finish explaining what they saw in this encounter because they never knew that a bla were around to do the needful so you know when the block road this way is an attack these are the people we call bandits these are the people we call terrorists from nigeria that came to biafra land to destroy lives and properties and to steal these are not policemen but today i want to inform you that they entered um where they didn't suppose to go to and um it has turned against them you know asp dsp sp inspector constable everybody was on the run hmm? for their lives because life have no duplicate and you can see many nigerian police were under arrest they were surrendered by biafra liberation armies so what i'm telling you is what happened to life you may believe it you may disbelieve it all i know is that great job is being done in biafra land and is still going on and by so doing we shall overpower them overtake them and flush them out of biafra nation the only thing we need is biafra soldiers biafra police officers biafra immigrations and biafra customs biafra government is what have to take over biafra land as you are listening to me and you are watching this video let it interest you to know that nigerians and nigeria government have no power over Biafrans and cannot stop Biafra agitation and cannot stop Biafra restoration as they feel in their heart that when they send some soldiers and some terrorists, some police DSS from Nigeria down to Biafra land, I don't know the road they are going to pass through to come down to Biafra land, but we are watching and we are waiting and we are doing the necessary thing we are supposed to do so we cannot leave what belongs to us for another people who didn't know how god have given it to us so let them go to their own country and put road block illegal checkpoints go to the north go to yoruba land you will not see all this um criminal Ill illegal checkpoints and roadblocks in Yoruba land and uh, in the north but in southeast because the southeast politicians and elites have decided to sell Biafra land to the Nigeria government terrorist which they have failed because the whole world can see that the five governors that made up of Igbo land are nothing and they are doing nothing and nobody believe in them 
So we don't kill anybody and we don't believe in killing. So you understand? It's terrorists that kills people. Biafra Liberation Army does not kill people. All right? But they will correct you and tell you to go and tell the person or the people who send you how you went, that the operation was too hard. You cannot, if not, that Biafra Liberation Armies are merciful and the Biafra government is so merciful that you people wouldn't have returned. So this is the message. And um, as we are approaching to the deed day, the, the day of deal, so um, I think Amume Bungu, man, and I had the anchor. Watch out. Kaka Kaka Gedia Wajaka, Makanamam, no one to go near. No one on your gamaria. If God is with you, nobody will conquer you. Nobody will defeat you. It's a promise of certainty. And it's a divine promise with the Bible called injunction. God told Joshua, as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. And wheresoever the sole of your foot shall be tread upon, shall be given unto you for an inheritance. We have come to inherit what belongs to us. The land that God has given to our forefathers, and we have we have come to possess it, and we come with sincerity, truth, and um, good behavior, which everybody can see. That Biafran security forces are very transparent, and uh, you can count on them. Transparency and accountability is their nature. We don't kill people, but anybody who wants to die can die on his own. We say, leave our land. We don't want to see you. And as you continue to disobey the instruction of Biafra government republic, then I don't think you will see peace. Somebody say, leave my compound, leave my house, leave my country. And uh, you insist that you will not go. So whatever you see along the line, you manage it that way. But what I'm telling uh, my listeners this moment is that they shouldn't take Biafra Liberation Armies for granted. They shouldn't take Biafra Security Forces for granted. They are doing something and are willing to do something to do more as the day approaches very close. Um, things are seriously changing. And uh, instead of the Biafran soldiers depreciating, they are rather appreciating. Are you getting what I'm saying? Biafra armies are not reducing in number. They are increasing geometrically on daily basis. But you may not understand what I'm saying. That we have conquered the faceless enemies. And there is nothing they can do to recover. So to delay the declaration of Biafra restoration on the 2nd December, I think it will be a fatal issue. So we don't need to delay it. We don't need to postpone it because now they are not we must do everything within our reach to secure our nation and to secure our people from the hands of the invaders. So all these places, the road, express road, highway road, village roads, those roads are not police station. They are not military barracks where police and soldiers supposed to go and stay because that's where their offices are. So I'm telling you this moment with authority and the clarity that um, absolutely Biafra government have defeated the Nigeria government in all ramifications of life. But some of you are waiting to see 
what will happen on December 2nd, 2024. I believe God as I have always believed him and he is always there for us and he does mighty works which nobody can do. God of Israel, Chukwoki Kabiyama, have answered us again. He is going to overthrow the Pharaoh and the Egyptians inside the Red Sea. I mean it, both their chariots, their weapons, their ammunitions, they won't have mouth to say what they saw. So, brothers and sisters, this moment should be very, very clear to you that Biafran forces are not joking. And if you take them for granted, whatever you see, you take it that way. We are out to do good things, to modernize our country, to get our country protected from the hands of bandits and the terrorists and invaders. So it is not a crime, self-determination and self-defense. Like the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic have promised that he will certainly bring Biafra to the doorsteps of every Biafran. He left for you to do the right thing and do the one you are supposed to do. So that at the end of the day, all of us will rejoice together. So fellow Biafrans, before I wrap up my message this period, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this channel, share this video. We are on the winning side. As you are listening to me this period, don't be distracted. We have won the battle. Thank you.